and it's going to be the 2000s team off the tip. Let's check out Chicago's starting lineup. We've got Shaquille O'Neal. Johnson is out there with Michael Jordan. Then there's Shaquille O'Neal. And it's James in at the three slot. Like the sun rising every day, you can count on LeBron to have his head up standing the floor and finding the open man. LeBron outside. Jordan against Kobe. Back to James from downtown. And it's Chicago with the rebound. Shaq picks to O'Neal. And some nice ball movement here by Chicago. And here's Jordan outside. He doesn't hit that one. And the 2000s team will go the other way with it. A floater, and Iverson gets it to go. Always nice to see Bryant find the open man. He gets so much attention on himself. That helps create opportunities for other guys. Oh, oh, oh my great. goodness! That was special. Nothing out of the ordinary there for LeBron. I mean, insane athleticism. And here's the 2000s team. O'Neal passes to LeBron from 20 feet out. The rebound by Johnson. Usually, guys, he's going to knock that one down from there. Proficient at operating in that medium range area. No doubt about the brilliance of Jordan as a player. Outstanding. Knowing when to go get that alley-oop. LeBron against James. James, the pass to Iverson. Good, and the assist goes to James. Iverson's got his second bucket tonight. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Now, here's Jordan. Shot, high post. Again, Chicago. Already finding his spots and capitalizing, playing really efficient basketball. Iverson dishes to Duncan. It's tipped. Stolen by O'Neal. Here's Jordan. And Jordan slams it home. And the high-flying antics of Jordan. Simply awesome. One of the best dunkers this game has ever seen. And here's the 2000s team. Six-point game. Puts it up. Oh, and that one had the right spit on it. And it is good. Iverson's got six points. Well, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. And you know what? They're going to keep using him. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. Shaq's checked in for O'Neal. Chicago shooting their first free throw of the game right now. And that one falls for Johnson. And Johnson is an elite talent, a special talent. A very unique point guard with amazing size. About 6'9". He can flat out take over games because he virtually can play every position. Now here's Nash. Let's it go from 14. And Garnett misses. Right thing there to stay that tight on him and, and really try to keep him out of his comfort zone. Here's Jordan. Here's O'Neal. He feeds it to LeBron. Jacks up a three. And the last shot of the buzzer doesn't go in for him. And so it's the Chicago Bulls heading... enjoyed the broadcast so far halfway through the first half in this one and a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for Chicago that mid-range shot has been a weapon for them up to this point though they've been distributing the ball really well tonight too I mean a decent number of assists so far for them and now brought to you by Gatorade all fueled up and ready to go let's reset our lineups so for Chicago right now they've got LeBron James O'Neal is out there with O'Neal then it's Magic Johnson, and it's Jordan in at the two spot. Love seeing O'Neal use his body to come up with those blocks. An imposing force and a pretty consistent defender as well. Four on the shot clock. The shot by Wade, wide open. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Dirk Nowitzki. Just reliable, guys. He's just always trying to make the right play. Pass to Jordan. Johnson outside. From outside the arc, hands it from downtown. Johnson's got the lead up to nine now for the Bulls. 
Yeah, and Jordan sees the floor so nicely. I mean, one of his guys has a clean look. He gets the ball to him in whip-like fashion. And the foul called on ABC. That is his first foul of the game. For the 2000s team, Gao checked in for Nowitzki. Pierce comes in for Vince Carter. And Tracy McGrady subbed in for Dwayne Wade. Now James following the three-point attempt by Pierce. Well, that's one man never afraid to punch it. Give LeBron a path to the bucket, and the finish is going to be something in a post. And the 2000s team decides to take their first time out here. For the 2000s team, James comes in for Kevin Garnett. And Allen Iverson subbed in for Steve Nash. The Bulls making a change here as well. O'Neal's checked in. Now here's Iverson. Six points for him. There's 138 left to play in the first half. Johnson kicks to O'Neal. Dishes to James. O'Neal passes to O'Neal. Kicks it out to James. Shoots the three. That shot misses. And the 2000s team will go the other way with it. To the middle, here's Pierce, and it's sent back by O'Neal. Love seeing O'Neal use his body to come up with those blocks. An imposing force and a pretty consistent defender as well. Just barely too late and, and catches it on the way down. He's already in the air there, committed, so can't fault him for going for the block. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That's on LeBron James. It's his first trip to the line. And O'Neal, clearly one of the biggest human beings you'll ever see. A mammoth of a man. About a seventh of a ton. And yet, unstoppable. Now here's Iverson. And it's sent back by O'Neal. And here we go. The Bulls fast break. He lobs it up. And Shaq with the slam. And how about the reach of O'Neal there? A huge target for his teammates on these alley-oops. James against LeBron. Pass to Duncan. The dish now to Bryant. His three-pointers off the mark. Yeah, and you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. And it's Jordan with the jam. Now that's some hang time. What a pretty double-clutch move. Agree, Greg. You can afford to get fancy on your way up when you've got that kind of space. And space is what he had, fellas. Soft defense there. Johnson dishes to O'Neal. Hammers the alley-oop through. Talk about execution on the offensive end. They're leaving nothing on the table right now. Yep, they're starting to stretch this lead out. Too much offense to keep pace with. Now here's Bryant. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. LeBron passes to O'Neal. Oats one up. Good, and the assist goes to James. There is a bunch to appreciate about LeBron's game. His passing is off the charts. Just look at that feed. And I've been impressed with the unselfishness, but also getting guys the ball where they can do something with it. He is delivering a lot of room service times tonight. One sweet one after another. And so it's the Chicago Bulls out at... After a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. A fantastic game from Magic Johnson in this one. And the way that he has helped out with the ball movement has been a difference maker early on. And, you know, that's not a job they ask him to do very often. But in the first half, I thought he was in perfect sync with his teammates. Allen Iverson out there with Bryant. Then there's Shaquille O'Neal. Then it's LeBron James. And it's Duncan in at the power forward. So that's who Greg Popovich starts the second half with. And he's going up for the alley-oop. It's stolen by Bryant. Here's Iverson. And the shot goes in. Iverson's got eight. And Bryant has always gotten credit for being a fierce defender, clogging and digging, jumping on those steals when they present themselves. Oh, big finish. Emphatic. He hangs on the rim just for good measure. Wow. But I guess there's nothing wrong with a little bit of showboating here and there. Ahead. Oh, 
in the dunk pie shack. Like whenever this big man gets fancy with it, O'Neal is a ridiculous dunker when he's this close to the rim. Shaq's got a perfect three for three so far. Feeds it to LeBron. That shot is off. Now Chicago takes it the other way. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. And it's been a well-rounded performance. I mean, strong rebounding has certainly been, at, been at, the, at the center of it, but it's been good on a number of levels. Now Johnson following the miss by Shaquille O'Neal from deep. And here's Jordan outside. Good, and the assist goes to James. LeBron's got his third assist on the night. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Clearly just an example of a different mindset between these teams. From deep LeBron, another three for Chicago. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. LeBron against James. Iverson outside. Will it go? And it's Chicago with the rebound. Boy, you can just see the frustration growing on their faces. Nothing going their way. You know, guys, no denying it's been a rough patch here. I think they've got to run whatever is best in their playbook to get a good shot. Here's Iverson following the basket by Shaquille O'Neal. Outside Bryant. Shoots. And Shaquille O'Neal pulls it down. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game. O'Neal passes to O'Neal. And Shaq with the slam. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. And don't leave out the coaching staff here now. I mean, their game plan has been perfect. Johnson with the block. Tell you what, the long arms and great wingspan of Johnson, well used and suited for the shot tonight. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. Iverson, that one doesn't go. Some solid defense from Johnson. Here's Jordan. Oh, he just jams it right over LeBron. Wow. Hey, whatever adjustments they made at halftime, they are working to perfection. You know, they came out of the locker room, revved up the gas pedal, and haven't slowed down yet. And so it's the Chicago Bulls sitting pretty as the quarter comes to a close. Their lead all the way up there at 35 points. The scoring has been tremendous, and they are shooting lights out with very high accuracy. We'll return shortly. And how about a look now at our assist to the game? Brought to you by State Farm. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter for him. Served him up a tasty room service dime right there, boy. And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. So for Chicago right now, we've got Johnson. Duncan is out there with LeBron James. Then it's Jordan. And it's O'Neal in at the five down low. Here is Carter following the basket by Shaquille O'Neal. And stolen by James. And they pick up two. LeBron's got his first two points. And breaking down some numbers here, the hustle stats for Chicago. The activity level defensively, I I've really been impressed with. They've been an attack bowl on the defensive end. They haven't wasted time getting the ball up the court tonight either, and it's resulted in a lot of fast break points. Now, O'Neal following the miss by Nash from deep. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. Launches it. LeBron grabs the miss. Johnson kicks to Jordan. And then Jordan slams it in. And the high-flying antics of Jordan, simply awesome. One of the best dunkers this game has ever seen. A little over a minute of the fourth quarter gone right now. Johnson against Nash. The pass to McGrady. To the paint, here's Pierce. Well-timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. And he can time his passes so perfectly. Wow, what an assist. And Shaq with the slam. I tell you what, the peripheral vision, the court awareness of Johnson, this guy always knows when one of his teammates is open. 
and turnovers have been the issue for him. You can see the coaches have gotten into him a little bit about this. They've got to do a better job of taking care of the ball. And Tim Duncan gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul for the 2000s team. Kevin Garnett has checked in for Carter, and Dwayne Wade subbed in for Nash. And a change for the Bulls. Jordan's checked in. Now, here's Wade. Five on the clock. Almost, but it rolls out. Johnson kicks to Jordan. And then Jordan slams it in. And the high-flying antics of Jordan, simply awesome. One of the best dunkers this game has ever seen. And here's the 2000s team. 59 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And there's Tracy McGrady, the assist by Pierce. It all started with the pass. That's what coaches love to see, ball movement. Johnson attacking, and the slam dunk by Johnson. And it's just competing. You know, giving your best when it matters most. Yeah, you know, once they got victory in their view, a huge injection of energy and a great run to finish it off. Yao. It's going to be out of bounds. The 2000s team will have another go. Or the 2000s team. Dirk Nowitzki, he's checked in for Yao. Carter comes in for Pierce. And it's Nash in for Tracy McGrady. Here's Nowitzki. Here's Wade. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Man, the confidence and flair that Wade plays with, uniquely his own, a dynamite two guard who is also a clutch performer. And Wade drops them both. Here's Johnson. Inside, and the dunk by O'Neal. Boy, nobody wants to get in his way when he's this deep. Watch out. Four seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Nash with it. And it's Johnson picking him up. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. Here's James. Rejected by Nowitzki. And, you know, Nowitzki is capable of 86 in these shots now. That means rejection. Using his height and wingspan to deny. Yeah, that's a bad move there. Stops the clock and puts the other side on the line. Yeah, inexcusable. I mean, he's got to know not to take any chances there. That's just a terrible foul. On the inbound, and Magic Johnson with the slam. And how about O'Neal zipping passes over to his guys, using that height to find open teammates. And so Chicago takes this one, and by a big margin. This crowd was stunned by the manner in which their team was dismantled. You know what? Shocking. I don't care what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to come in and just...